Hey, what's happening? Good one, Sir James, coming at you guys with another video. And today I'm here to go over a topic with you guys that was brought to my attention earlier today in regards to a new policy that actually, well, started today in regards to scrap metal and of course, droid parts. But before we get into it, something I just wanna get off my chest, which I never really understand these people, are those that wanna come after me and state that it's my fault. That it's my fault that this policy is being incorporated today it's my fault that things are sold out in Galaxy's Edge. Uh, let me ask you this. When Galaxy's Edge opens up and the other locations and they start going low on stock, is that going to be my fault too? Clearly not. Do you see me coming home with, um, you know, five boxes of Luke Skywalker sabers? Do you see me with an eBay account trying to scalp other people? No, in fact, I've been helping out the community by obtaining items from Galaxy's Edge and shipping it to them for those who would never be able to go. In fact, I'm not even charging them an arm in the lake. All they're paying for is the item and what it would cost to ship. That is it. So again, I don't know how any of this is my fault for a large corporation like Disney who can't meet the demand of people because trust me, every time I go, there seems to be more and more and more items out of stock and it's starting to get a little bit ridiculous now. But now that I got that off my chest, let's go ahead and talk about this new policy here. Now, this new policy, again, is to go into effect in regards to scrap metal and droid parts. And I want to go ahead and kind of discuss this with you so you have a little bit of a better understanding. And do keep in mind that I do not know if this policy is a permanent thing or if it's going to be a temporary thing until things start to get settled. They stated that guests must show a receipt from the Droid Depot or Savi's workshop in the last 48 hours. Guests are limited to a total of two additional pieces from the same style of hilt or droid belt during the experience. So starting off with the Droid Depot, what does this mean? If you had built a droid from the Droid Depot, you have 48 hours to determine whether or not you want to buy additional parts. Now do keep in mind that these parts are not in regards to the accessory packs. This is only to the parts that you'll be picking up from the conveyor belt. You know, like the different head pieces, the body, the legs, stuff of that nature. So meaning that Let's say you built an R-series droid with the round dome head and now you want the other head piece. Well, as long as you're within that 48 hours and have your original receipt, you'll be able to buy that additional piece. And of course, one other item if you so choose to do so. Again, this does not affect the other accessories like again, the, the rocket pack, the cannon, the stickers, the droid backpack, which again, that's been out of stock for a while or the memory chips. So again, it's only the parts that are on the conveyor belt. Now for the scrap metal from Sabi's workshop, this is how this is being uh, broken down into, is that if you had built a lightsaber from Sabi's workshop and you would like to purchase additional scrap metal, which has been an option for a while now up until today where they made this change, is that you're able to go next door to Doc Ondar's and to be able to purchase scrap metal. In fact, you can purchase uh, typically, there hasn't been a limit as far as I'm aware because I've seen a video online where someone literally bought all 40 pieces of scrap metal. In fact, when I went there last time, I bought five pieces of scrap metal from the power control set as I bought the other five pieces from someone else who didn't want their scrap metal. But the fact that you're able to go next door to buy scrap metal from either your same set or from another set to further customize your saber is something pretty cool. And in fact, it's actually going to save you quite a bit of money, especially if you want all the other pieces instead of having to go there and, you know, make a reservation and build a saber, build another one, build another one, because you made the prices start to add up quite a bit. Uh, but anyways, this new policy, basically what they're stating is that if you built a saber, you have 48 hours from the time of purchase and you could buy a maximum of two additional pieces of scrap metal. What's worse is that you could only buy two pieces of scrap metal max from the same build. So here in my hand, I have the protection and defense, which means that I will not be able to buy scrap metal for power control, peace and justice, or even elemental nature. However, I will be allowed to buy scrap metal from the same set, such as protection and defense. And that is basically the policy that they're incorporating right now. Again, I do not know if this is a permanent change from here on in, or if this is gonna be a temporary thing until things to get settled. Uh, my understanding that some are under the impression that they're just doing this for a reason to kind of maintain the stock because the last thing, and honestly, the last thing that they want to do is to run out of scrap metal from Savi's workshop. Now for me, 
I'm trying to get one of every single piece because you know one of the cool things is being able to customize your saber even more, see what kind of unique designs to go for. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, there's nothing that I'm doing here that is breaking any form of rule. But again, with them running out of stock from the Legacy Sabres to the Kyber Crystals, which by the way, I know someone's gonna ask me, still out of stock, you'd have to buy a Holocron and you only get the two colored options, which is blue or red. Um, but you know, the fact is, you know, Disney can't meet the demand of their stock. So uh, that's one of the areas that they're completely screwing up on. And what also, what does this mean for everyone else who already built a Sabre? You know, long before this policy was incorporated, you're gonna have to ask Disney on your end. But from what I'm hearing is that when you do buy the scrap metal, they will mark your receipt. So you can't like come back, you know, a few hours later and buy two more pieces of scrap metal or whatever the case may be. Uh, but just wanna kinda get your guys' thoughts on this topic. Um, so are you guys, you know, fine with this idea? Is it not? I mean, for me, how I'm looking at it, I did state that I wanted all the scrap metal for power and control, which I do have. And I also wanted all the scrap metal from specifically uh, Peace and Justice. However, the problem with this new policy now is if I want the uh, scrap metal from um, Peace and Justice, a little bit hot in here, then technically I would have to book two reservations for Sabi's workshop in order to obtain all the scrap metal for that, which means that I'm spending an additional $200 more than what it would have cost me by just buying the scrap metal. And what makes it worse is by me booking these two experiences for Sabi's workshop, these are spots that could have been filled up for someone who has yet to build a saber. So again, there's a little bit of a negative effect on that one because I'm taking up a spot that could have been towards someone that has yet to even do something like build a saber. Again, you guys are more than welcome to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. But until then, I am Sir James and stay tuned for tomorrow morning where I'll be bringing you my review of the Ahsoka Tano Legacy Sabers. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next upload.